Hey, what's up guys? Uh, Shenlong here, coming at you with another product review. Today we're going to be looking at the IBV3 Li. Alright. Yeah, I know this mod's been done, but uh, I just got in, so I'm doing my review on it. This is the package it comes in. Alright. Alright. Comes with... Because it's still 18650 LED screen display. Comes with a mini USB charger. And this is the back of the box. It tells you what comes with it. IPv3 device, USB cable, user manual, and a gift box, obviously. Alright, so you open it up here. Right. And inside your device will be sitting here. You have a little certificate of authenticity right here. Alright, this is your user manual, it tells you how to operate the device, okay, right. and of course you get your USB, you get your USB cable for upgrades, for software upgrades. I suppose you could use it for charging, but I don't use my cables for charging. I have a standalone charger that I use my to charge my batteries. So, guys, okay, so let's check it out here. Oh, sorry, I can adjust my camera a little bit. Here is the device itself, IPv3 Li. Okay, here is the battery door. If I can get this thing open. There we go. Alright, so there's your battery slide right there. Alright, the order slides easily on and off. Sometimes I have a little bit of trouble with it because it sticks a little bit, but that's just me. Alright, now here's the, you got the fire button, wattage up, wattage down button, power up, power down button. Up top here, you also have a touch sensor firing button, which I kind of like, but I don't use it because I keep this mod in my pocket a lot while I'm at work, so, okay, alright, turn the device on, it's five clicks of the power button to turn the device on, okay, I'm currently running my Heracles tank on here with nickel coils in it, so it's set to, resistance is locked in, you can't lock the resistance on this device, which I like. The resistance is locked in at 0.24 ohms, uh, run at 320 degrees Fahrenheit, 40 joules, okay. Alright, now to, uh, and I have upgraded this to, to where it will run 200 watts. So to change from temperature control mode to wattage mode or power mode, you do one, two, three, four, five. You get into the menu screen here, system on. So you click the fire button to scroll through. Okay, mode, jewel, set to power, exit, on. Okay, now this device does have five different uh, memory settings on here that you can scroll through, but you can also adjust them. So there's 70 watts. 10 watts, 120 watts, okay, well, let's go back to 120 watts here, we'll show you that it uh, does run all the way up to 200, scroll, 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 200 watts, of course I'm not going to fire that, because if I do, I will destroy my coil, alright, so change back to Temperature control mode, you go one, two, three, four, five. Menu setting, menu again, one, two, skipped it. Okay, so hit the power up, power down button to change the selection, so go to jewel mode. Then you have your, you set to Fahrenheit or Celsius. I also leave it in Fahrenheit. This is how you set your temperature. It is currently set at 320. Sorry guys, my camera doesn't want to focus right now. So you can scroll up or scroll down. I'm gonna go back to where I had it. And when you do the update, when you first get this device, 
it won't let you select between nickel or titanium but after you do the update to the device where it'll run to 200 watts it does give you the option to select either ni200 or titanium ti01 but obviously i'm using a nickel coil okay then you go back to the exit all right guys so let's check it out Yeah, and for this device right here, you know, running this tank with the nickel coils, I find it works really well. I've also run this in power mode. I've only played with it up to 170 watts, and that was pushing it for me because I'm not used to running that high of a wattage, so that's just me. But I know there's plenty of people out there that like to run, you know, super high wattages like that. There's a full shot there. But me, I don't like running it that high because it's just too, not not to my liking. But all in all, guys, solid device. I love it. I've been playing with it ever since I got it last week. Great device all around. Zero issues with it whatsoever. About the only complaint I can find is switching between temp control mode and straight power mode kind of a pain in the butt having to click five times to get into the menu and then scroll through the menu and all that but that's just me guys I don't have a problem with it it just gets on my nerves a little bit some people really don't care it is what it is but uh yeah the company that sent this my way to review was gearbest.com I will have a link in the description of where you can get one how much it'll cost and if they have any coupons on it I will let you guys know all right guys this has been uh, vaping with Shen Long. Have a good one. Stay cloudy, guys.